Hello everybody. Out in the garage today. It's kind of nippy out here today. But uh, what I'm like here today, today's actually Wednesday. Um, I've been busy the last well, four or five days getting things done. Um, Monday I picked up something that uh, I've been looking forward to and uh, I've been uh, talking about it off and on in my previous videos. And uh, let me tell you a little bit of the history, though. A little over 20 years ago, um, my wife and I was first got together. We, uh, before, actually, right before I, my wife and I got together, I picked up a 22 uh, H&R, or it's a revolver, nine shot. Picked up cheap, figured it'd be a nice little can shooter, target shooter, you know. Well... The wife loved it after she met me and I had her at the range and she was shooting. She just loved the heck out of that little 20, that 22. But right after we got together, you know, times get tough sometimes and you, the first thing goes is your toys. So that was the first thing to go, my little 22 pistol because I mean, my, for hunting, I had my other, my hunting rifles and shotguns and stuff. So it, it was not a big deal to lose a 22. Actually, I got more out of it than I paid for it, which made it even nicer. But this, uh, what was it, uh, end of November, uh, the wife came up to me and said, uh, Honey, uh, what would you like to have for Christmas? And uh, I looked at her and said, I don't know. I mean, I'm not one to really ask for anything except for maybe bike repairs or upkeep of the house or whatever. So I'm like, I, I'm not really too sure. And she said, Well, whatever you want, let me know. We can either we can go pick it up or whatever, and, but you don't get it until Christmas. And I said, okay, whatever. And it popped in my mind, you know what, it would be nice to have a nice little 22 and go ahead and get my uh, concealed carry weapons permit for Pennsylvania. That way I have it. So if I'm out in the woods um, camping with the uh, goat or something, or if I'm out by myself, at least I have something to defend myself from ways. And also, I mean, even though it's a 22 caliber, and a lot of people have things against 22 calibers, it is a small caliber, yes. But the 22 caliber can do damage. It can get you, give you time to get away. Now, I hear these people say, well, if a crackhead comes up on you, well, yeah, if a crackhead comes up on you, I've seen crackheads that were actually taken care of by the police officers that... Even they said anything except for t cutting them up in two pieces with a gun, with a bunch of shots, they're not going down. It's they're kind of like a bear. That I mean, you can kill them, but they don't know they're dead. They can actually kill you, come back and come after you and kill you for a certain period of time, and I mean, it, they just don't know they're hurt or dead. I mean, it sounds messed up, but it's the truth. I've I've actually seen bears run for a good, what was it, almost 50 yards, and their heart was shot and blown out. I mean, the the, the hunter cut the heart out and showed me. It was a, a clean heart shot, and but the bear didn't know it was dead, <laughs> basically. But I mean, the crackheads are kind of like that. I mean, uh, yeah, there's. They're going to get a bigger caliber would be better off for them, but a 22 will, will do, handle mostly anything you I really need. Um, it's not a stand your ground gun, for as people would put it. It's kind of a buy me time to get out to protect my fam, my loved ones, and get into a better location where I have my weapons if I need it, and my bigger weapons, and then take care of business. Um, this, the 22 can be used for hunting also for close, very close range for a pistol. But let's get on. Let's get on. Enough of this rambling. Picked up my 22 and it's right here. And to show you guys, nice little 22. It's a, it's a 22 PT. It's a PT 22 from Taurus. Just to show you, I'm being safe. That's where you put the first round in. Empty. I'll show you more on this in a little bit. Magazine's empty. Don't normally... I haven't been carrying it like this because I do have my CCW license. Concealed carry weapon permit. And uh, I kind of see it if I need it 
I need it now, not load it up in 20 minutes and need it. That's the way I am. Just make sure you put it on safety, have the proper holster for it, and you should be fine long you know how to handle the weapon. How to be safe. Now the gun itself, I'll show you this side. Let me see how well it comes in. It is the the blued version. With these are supposed to be rosewood grips. They look more walnut to me, but that's okay. I'm going to be changing the grips out in the future anyway. I want to get. I don't, I'll tell you more about these grips that I'm not really too fond about. But right here, it's a lever you push forward, tips the barrel up. That's for your first round. This is a semi-automatic. It can be racked, but it's it's. It's not really a need to be. They made it so people with arthritis, weak hands and stuff, all they got to do for the first round is tilt the barrel up. Put it in. You're ready to, lock and, you're ready to rock and roll. Now, like I said, this is possible. This one's tight. But trust me, it is possible to rack it. <laughs> I racked it several times this last night. But uh, the safety is right here. It's fairly, I mean, this one here is kind of tight. It feels like it's not, hasn't been used. This is a used weapon, though. Magazine drop. Right there. Now, this is, not I'll tell you a little bit about this particular one. Now, I'll run you through the fundamentals. And, oh, to clean it, you have to tip the barrel up. You pick up this section, just this piece of the slide, bring it up. Slides forward a little bit and out. And then you just got to clean your barrel, inside your barrel. Clean while well lube the slides in where your firing pin is. Then you just kind of put the back, line it up in the back here. Slide a little bit, push this down. It's back into place, and that's done. Magazine, of course, you just you got to push the. You have to put for the magazine. You have to push the button, release it, then you clean. And of course, you clean the inside of the magazine well. Now. This particular PT-22, I looked up the, the serial numbers on it, and you're able to look it up, they have a program you can do it with. And this particular one was made, was, was uh, manufactured in 1993. That was before they started putting the uh, security lock system inside the, the grip. The security lock system for the grip now is you have a little, it's a, it's like a uh, security um, Allen key. And it has a little, uh, like a security Allen screw in here. You turn a little bit, it locks up, turns it into a brick. Um, you can't do anything except for throw it at the person. Not the best idea in my eyes. It's, it's very, it makes it safer for children around. I don't have children in the house anymore. My children are all grown up. We are what they call empty nesters. And uh, so I don't need that. It's the, the safety on the back is good enough for me. It's good enough for me. Get yourself a nice holster. Now these these guns on the internet they have they get bad reviews, very bad. I took the chance and got it anyway. Um, that's because I know my luck. I do, I mean, I've gotten some bad things going on this, but most of the time I do very good with, uh, with things. But these get bad reviews. Why? It's a 22, for one thing. It, uh, the way it cycles out and changes, uh, it gets new round put in, it's, I mean, it's not the best, but it's a rimfire. It's, they don't have a lot of power. Um, so they end up, Stove piping, uh, not cycling period. Light hits with the uh, firing pin. Firing pins do tend to go out off and on with these. That's what I'm hearing. I've, I've ran a few a few clips through this and it ran. It, it cycled like a champ. It was a great gun. Um, I've, they say it's they're ammo picky. Well, I've read further on to it with the people that own these, and they said once you get them broken in, normally they do very well. Well, evidently this one here has been loved has been broken in. The dealer that I bought it from, let me put this away real quick. Pardon me, guys. 
the dealer that I purchased it from, which I just seen him one last month, and I talked to the, the lady who was behind the counter, and I said, well, do you have any ammunition for the 22? Because I'll be picking it up next month. And she said, no, I don't, we, don't have, we don't have any ammunition. Ammunition shortage in the United States is getting better right now, but in my area, it's still very short. I was able to pick up this Remington 22 Target, and this is just for targets, and I, it, five bucks. The dealer here, the dealer actually puts back ammunition for his gun sales, of course. Then he sells them to the people who buy new guns, that way they can try them out. This is just Target. You can still do, do the work you need to do, it's just it's more of a Target. Five bucks, dirt cheap. Box of 50. He said that's all I keep around for the 22s and so forth. Is the box of 50s for selling because I mean he needs to make need to make a nut somewhere, you know. And they're hard to get hard to find the 22 caliber in my areas. But about a month ago, I picked up these. This is brand is an SK model a brand. As you can see right there, SK out of Germany. And uh, it's got a kind of a goldish box. Well, there there's, must be a reason behind that because uh, I paid $20.66 for this sucker. Came out of California. I'm in Pennsylvania. I ordered it online because I couldn't find anything around my area. These are 40 grains, um, high velocity, which you don't want to run anything too much higher, too much higher velocity than these in these because they tend to not hold up very well. And to get more breakage and uh, the Taurus PT-22, the Taurus handguns, they have a lifetime warranty. But their warranty does not cover abuse. So you have to watch, basically, you, go, you read in their manual, which I downloaded my manual offline, and you pay attention to what kind of ammunition you run through it. Um, but these things here, they're high velocities. Uh, the boxes are bigger, yeah, but that's because they, they come with nice little plastic holders where the other one's kind of bulky, they just put it in there. And uh, I mean, it keeps from rattling around so much. And I ran a few through this, through it, no problems, no problems. Uh, now, back to the gun that uh, my, uh, the, big, the only flaw I've ran into with this so far is. You see the grip, nice and shiny. Well, I was shooting it, the first two shots I had, I took nice and slow, getting used to the trigger pull. The trigger pull is a, this is a, um, the trigger pull works your hand, works your hand or back and forth. It's, what's it called? Well, anyway. It's a long trigger pull for it, kind of, kind of stiff. But once you get, once after the first shot or two shots, I mean, you're dead on. You're used to it. It seems like. And after the first two shots, nice slow, getting used to it, looking at the sights, seeing where the sights are. I don't have my target here, but I have a, a zombie Bin Laden uh, target that we picked, my wife picked, and I, I just basically shot the mouth out with this thing. And. Uh, and that was at, what was it, uh, between four and five yards, which don't seem that far away, but you figure that that's most of your encounters in the city is going to be within that distance. And I didn't want to push it too far. I haven't shot a uh, pistol for around 20 years. So it's kind of like, oh, give me some chance. But this thing here has a long trigger pull, kind of tough, but tight, but it, it works. But whenever I was, I did a, a quick fire, I kind of felt but there was no grip here, and I was gripping it tighter to make sure I have it because it doesn't have much of a kick, but it does have a little bit enough to that if you hold it loose, it, I mean, it's dangerous. But I was feel like I had to grip the tight, grip it up, which brought you see the, there's a beaver tail on the back end of this, and it brought that beaver tail up into my hand more. And you, that's not a wise thing for a semi automatic because your slide comes back and it'll. It'll get you in the back of your hand. So I want to keep below the beaver tail. So by saying that, what I want to do is change these grips out 
to a uh, more of a custom grip with a better with with grip. <laughs> okay, let's just say it that way. I hate using I hate using that word all over and over and over again. But just get and I'll put these back of course. But I'm gonna go ahead and change it. I wanna you know, my idea is I wanna black the gun out and I've actually seen the seen them what they have the uh the fake uh like pearls in it or different kind of stones and stuff in it but I'm gonna go ahead and see what I like and uh, I think I'm thinking I like the blue in there a little bit so my favorite one of my favorite colors is blue but the gun itself worked flawless the, the grip that's a custom thing that's a, that's a that's a more of a me thing the gun works perfectly uh, you can talk to, even though I mean, a lot of people have negative thoughts about 22 caliber, you could talk to several police officers, and we have a few of them in our little gr in our group that will tell you a 22 will get the job done. It's really nothing to really shake a stick at. I mean, is is it anything compared to say an eight a nine millimeter? Not really, no, no. There's nothing. I'm not going to go against that. But. If you need a light pocket gun that you're going to shoot for practice, get used to it, and then you're used to it if you need it, need it in life. I mean, the best gun to practice is the gun that you're going to shoot with, to use. That's my theory. And being that my wife, she's only shot a 22, I wanted something that I can train her, she can pick it up anytime she needs it, and use it. And a 22 caliber, I don't care what anybody says, is better than carrying a stick around or a knife. Because you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. But this is just uh, my little thing. Uh, like I said, I don't care. I don't normally have it around the last couple days unloaded no it's normally loaded and it's ready to be used um the world's changing i don't like the way they change i hope i never have to use it except to shoot to kill the uh zombie bin laden paper targets that was fun and uh i'm thinking about maybe after i get several of them because they're only a buck a piece come on wallpaper my garage with zombie bin laden <laughs> I hope you all guys enjoyed this video. I hope it, you guys, uh, you guys get something from it. And uh, I mean, if I can't answer any questions, I will. Um, still pretty new to the gun. I've ran several magazines, like I said, through it, and it's working flawless. I'm having no problems. Uh, picked up my CCW permit just yesterday. It's Tuesday, and. Next is a nice holster for it, and whenever I go out of state, Ohio, I my permit's no good. But if I go down to West Virginia, Virginia, I'm fine. Uh, but uh, for that, I just open carry down over in Ohio. It's not a problem. Because open Ohio is an open carry state, too, just like Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, if I want to open carry, I could do it no problem. Just put a holster on the side as long as it's not covered up. And... Open carry. Myself, I'm going to choose to conceal carry unless I have to open carry. But this is Muscle Mike saying, I hope you guys all have a great day. I hope you guys ride safe, ride like you're not being seen like a ghost, and ride like a ninja. This is Muscle Mike signing out. Have a great day, guys.